The Tulsa Air and Space Museum is asking for help from the state government, but they say there is nothing for the public to worry about. Thanks for being with us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. The museum also says it's not in danger of closing. One Oklahoma lawmaker, though, does have a plan to give it a financial boost. News on 6's Matt Ron explains the push for a sales tax exemption. Sally Ride has an incredible quote, and she said, you can't be what you can't see. For decades, thousands of visitors have learned about aviation and history from the Tulsa Air and Space Museum. We provide that looking glass into the aviation community. But director Tanya Blancet says running a nonprofit museum post COVID is tough and every dollar counts. That's why she hopes to get something many other museums in the state already have a sales tax exemption. Representative John Waldron has been working for three years to make that a reality. It would make a small difference to Oklahoma taxpayers, but a big difference to the Air and Space Museum, which is a real gem here in Tulsa. So it's an important part of our legacy. A sales tax exemption would allow them to better continue their service to the public. I think it's deserved and appropriate. If this legislation were to pass, Blancet says more money could be spent on things like this Tuskegee Airmen exhibit. She says the tax exemption would also help with basic operating costs like cleaning and maintenance, saving around $20,000 a year. She says that would go a long way to inspire the roughly 30,000 students that visit every year. We're trying to be more of a come and do rather than a come and see museum. We want kids to have hands-on uh, enrichment activities. Blancet says saving money on taxes isn't a make or break for the museum, but it would be much needed help. The museum's not going anywhere. We have a lot of projects going. If the bill is passed this spring, it would take effect in November. In Tulsa, Matt Ron, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.